Hi, this is Steve Harrison, and I'm here with another Meraki Minute. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Meraki's Security Center as a network defender to identify targeted attacks, understand the severity, and then how we can potentially remediate any affected clients. So firstly, you'll be able to see that the Security Center shows me the distribution of security events over the course of the past two weeks. And I can also see the types of clients affected, also the types of threats and the, the location that those threats started from. So let's actually pick one of our clients here. Let's have a look at uh, this particular Windows 10 device and let's have a, just have a look at what's been going on with this specific client. Now if I click into that, it shows me the events that are specifically pertinent to this particular client and I can see that I've got a Microsoft Internet Explorer uh, attempt being made against this device. So let's have a let's see what that actually is. Let's just dig into that a little bit. Let's see what the real rule de real details actually say. This deep links me through to the Snort database um, provided by Cisco Talos and it tells me all about the threat. So I can see here that it's a Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer 6 through 11 vulnerability that allows remote attackers to execute arbitrary code and can cause a denial of service via mem memory corruption. Now this is potentially something that's very serious and, and if I actually have a vulnerable piece of software on that client um, that, that actually could be um, could be used to exploit this client. So the corrective action is to update the, the client device. From this, I could actually then start looking at whether um, this particular client actually has that piece of software installed. If they do, I could actually change. I could actually jump on that particular client uh, and actually move them off the network. So let's just quickly block them from the network so that they don't have access. In this instance, the MX has blocked the threat. But if this was a retrospective alert for an AMP, then this sort of action could help prevent sideways propagation of the attack. I'll catch you in the next video.